here are four things that you might not know about robotic pool vacuums. And you're like, well, what could I possibly not know? Let's try one out here. Did you know that you're not supposed to put a robotic pool vacuum into a dirty swimming pool? And you might be thinking like, oh, wait a second, what is the point of this thing? The point of a robotic vacuum is to be a maintenance cleaner. So if you're just throwing your pool robot into, you know, a filthy swamp of a swimming pool, it's kind of a lot to expect. That's not what it's designed for. It's designed to keep the pool clean once it's already been clean. So that's something that a lot of people don't realize about a robotic pool vacuum is that you don't put it in a dirty pool, you actually put it into a clean pool and it's supposed to help you keep it that way. So here's another thing that you might not know about a pool robot. You're not supposed to leave it in the water. Like a lot of people do that. Just leave it 24-7. You know, it doesn't run all the time, but uh, you just don't bother taking it out in between uses. You just leave it there. It's not a great idea to do that. First, it's not a great idea to leave anything in your swimming pool at all because anything in your pool is going to be depleting your free chlorine levels. So right away, you don't want to leave anything at all, and that's like floaties and stuff included. But if you're talking about putting your pool robot into the the, the pool 24-7, what you're going to be dealing with is, is an extremely fast rate of deterioration of the plastic that the, the product's made from. And I'm talking about the casing all the way through to the small internal components because chlorine does attack plastics. And, you know, especially if there's any kind of lower grade or lower quality plastics and one little failure, now your pool robot doesn't work anymore. So one thing you want to do is just make sure that you take it out when you're not using it. So next, something that you might not know about a pool robot, how do you deal with one that keeps getting stuck on the main drain? It actually happens pretty commonly. So if we're if you're using a robotic pool vacuum cleaner, then you're not using your filtration system in order to vacuum the pool. So what about turning your filtration system off during the period of time that your robotic pool cleaner is running its cycle? Or a better option, if you have a variable speed swimming pool pump, maybe turn down the RPM that the pump is running at during the time when your pool robot is running, because it could be that you're just drawing too much water and it's, you know, it's not causing it to get physically stuck there. But those pool robots, you know, they're not designed to be super powerful. So it could just be being influenced by the suction from the main drain and it's causing it to kind of just get hung up in that one spot. As an experiment, try just turning off your pump and see if it helps to resolve that problem. So let's talk about one more thing that you might not know about a robotic pool vacuum, a really common question that people ask. How do you lift the thing out of the water? It's so heavy. And if you're you know, somebody or that's a little bit smaller, you could definitely struggle to pull out one of these robotic vacuums because they're pretty big and they're completely filled with water. And so that's kind of the tip or the trick that I have for you. When you pull it out, don't just try to do it in one fluid motion, yank it out of the water because it weighs a gazillion pounds. Kind of pull it out so it's halfway out of the water and you'll notice it starts draining like crazy and then maybe lift it a little further and it drains a little more. And as soon as you've got all of that water out of it, well, now it's a lot easier to lift it out. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.